Outdoors Bound tonight, a story about Virginia heritage and the wild horses of Assateague Island. Those ponies have been there for hundreds of years, made famous by a series of books cherished by millions of people around the world. Now, the stories were based on real people and a place called BB Ranch. The story, the people, the ranch, they've taken their places in American history. But now there's a chance some of that history could be lost to developers. WFXR's George Nolif takes us to Virginia's eastern shore. This is a story set near one of the last wild places on the Virginia coast, and it's about saving a piece of vital American history. It starts with the sound of hoofbeats, and then saltwater cowboys riding the roundup. It's centered on the wild ponies of Assateague Island and their annual roundup and swim to Shinkateague Island. It's a tradition and proud part of Virginia heritage, made world famous by the Marguerite Henry book, Misty of Shinkateague. Children and plenty of adults have been reading the classic since 1947. That's kind of the cool thing about going to small towns like this, is being able to see like things that you remember from being a kid. It is a really inspiring story. It's a little bit of a tearjerker at times. The story's about two children and their love of the wild horses of Assateague Island. The local fire department herds some of those ponies to swim them to Shinkateague every summer for a fundraising auction. America fell even deeper in love with the Misty Tale when it was revealed that the book and others in the series were based on a real story. There was even a movie made sure about is. it. Sure is. That's Misty. How come she has a name already? Well, I, well, I just called her that. The story Marguerite Henry writes, um, Misty is this wild pony on Assateague, um, and she's brought over during pony penning, and these two children fall in love with her. And the setting for the books and the film is real, too. The BB Ranch, it's still with us. She's seven years old, so she's... Billy BB grew up on the ranch, still works with horses, and he knew a lot of the main characters in the Misty story. All my relatives are in the first Misty of Shinkatig book. Grandma actually woke us up, uh, came from her house, and said she had a premonition, which I found out is a dream, that Misty had her first uh, colt, and they uh, had a contest in naming him, and they picked Phantom Wings. And now we're trying to save BB Ranch. Through the years, the BB Ranch has shrunk with parcels sold off. The original ranch house, horse pens, and a few acres remain. And now the BB family feels it's time to sell. Shinkateague is also a resort community, prime for developers, and developers made an offer, $625,000. That's when the town and the Shinkateague Museum decided it was time to get involved to try to preserve a piece of history dear to them and dear to America. That meant buying the ranch. And, you know, it's going so well. We have so many phone calls from people who are concerned um, and, and really inspired and want to contribute to helping us save the ranch. It is very much a team effort, and we are very grateful to everyone who has contributed. Give him a treat. Those two horses you saw there at the end of the story, those are actual misty descendants that you can see at BB Ranch. Pretty cool, huh? As for the ranch, the clock is ticking. The museum now has the ranch under contract. That's good news. But the closing date's coming up, June 30th. So far, the museum has raised $475,000 of the $625,000 purchase price. So there's still more money needed to have the cash on hand by the time the closing date comes around and to allow the museum to take possession and preserve this cherished piece of Virginia and American history. I do have some good news. I just found out the Shinkateague Volunteer Fire Department is getting involved. They'll hold a special one-time only online pony auction next month. All the money raised goes to the museum's purchase of the BB Ranch. George, if our viewers wanted to help with a donation, how can they do that? Good question, Stoney. There are a few ways. There's a GoFundMe set up, or people can call the museum directly, or they can mail in a check. I have links to all of those options on our website, WFXRTV.com. Just go to the Outdoors Bound page. Sounds like a really cool thing. They're pretty close to their goal as well. Yes, so hopefully they can get over that, that notch there. We'll keep you updated. Thanks, George.